All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. Today in this video, we want to continue our geotechnical engineering uh, section of the review, and we're gonna be focusing specifically on a laboratory and field test. So I have a few problems that I wanna go ahead and dive right into. All right, so number one says, zoom in a little bit. So given information, um, you have a constant head permeability uh, test results. And those test results are your hydraulic conductivity is equal to one times 10 to the negative five centimeters per second. You have a cross-sectional area that equals 20 centimeters squared. And you have a change in hydraulic head that equals one. Determine the flow rate, Q. Okay, so this is a bunch of information that they're giving me. And so what I want to do is write out the given information and then the information that I'm trying to find and any formulas that I may need to use. Okay. The information that I'm given, I'm giving the hydraulic conductivity. We're also given uh, the area and we're given the change in head. Hydraulic head, specifically. We're trying to find the flow rate. Or Q. All right, so any formula is needed, okay? So if I'm trying to find the flow rate, or if I'm trying to find uh, Q, just from my knowledge of some of the practice that I did in fluid mechanics, I know that if I, first, if I search flow, I get 278 results. So I'm gonna try to use something that they gave me to see if I can narrow down my formulas that I will can choose from. So I'm gonna search hydraulic conductivity. Okay, and only five results come up for hydraulic conductivity. So I'm gonna see if that's a variable that I can use to flow. All right, so hydraulic conductivity here. Um, is going to be K, which equals Q. Q is the total quantity of water. Don't know what units those are. I is gonna be change in head over change in length. We are not given the length of the soil column. A, a, a is the cross-sectional area, test specimen perpendicular to flow. Uh, not necessarily, and this is a reservoir to, and this is uh, that there's a, a period of time that you need, so don't think that's the right formula for this one darcy's law we have a uh, negative k which is uh, the hydraulic conductivity which we do have okay. what about a the cross-sectional area of flow we have that and then uh, so q is equal to Negative K, so Q is my flow um, that I'm searching for. Discharge rate, um, flow rate, same same thing. And then DH over DX, what's D, oh, what's H? Hydraulic head, so it's the, it's the change in hydraulic head, right? And so that would be one. In this case so i have all the things that i need in order to get my answer all right so let's write the equation out and then solve all right so the form formula is needed is q is equal to negative k a and then dh over dx I'm gonna write out each variable. Q is equal to question mark, that's what we're solving for. K is equal to my hydraulic, 
conductivity, which is one times 10 to the negative five centimeters uh, over seconds. Key to know all of our, my answer is in centimeters cubed over seconds. So if things are in centimeters or if things are in seconds, then that's perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, A is equal to cross sectional area, which is equal to 20 centimeters squared. And then dH over dx is equal to hydraulic head or change in hydraulic head, which is equal to one. All right. So plug and chug Q is equal to one or sorry, a negative K which is negative one times 10 to the negative five centimeters per second times my area, 20 centimeters squared times my change in hydraulic head, which is equal to one. When I multiply all this out, I get negative two times 10 to the negative four centimeters cubed divided by S or same thing as A. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning. So I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough, and as you're going through material, you may be saying, I don't remember learning this stuff, or gosh, these variables are so confusing, or you just feel like you're really, really busy, and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right. And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out, want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So look into create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times. Um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this. I got it all on my own. I know everything or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, 
getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one on one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.